Thanks. It's now time for Ask the Expert. In the season of giving, how do we teach our kids? It's not all about what you get. Gratitude is one of the toughest lessons to instill our ch in our children in this holiday season. Just might be a great time to start teaching them. Financial professional Brad Allen with WealthWisconsin.com here with five money lessons you can use to help raise thankful kids. It's a tough job <laughs> because, it, you know, they're just at the age, though. Right. So when you talk about this, where should we start and, and at what age range? Well, it said that uh, children as early as three years old can start understanding the value of money. So it's really, we want five different lessons that we're going to talk about today on understanding what those values mean. So the first one is going to be creating experiences. And basically all that means is that you know with their allowances their savings um, you know maybe something like a gift card at the store it's actually studies have shown that kids who spend their own money or have can make their own decisions in spending their money are mm -hmm. actually better off down the road they're the ones saying that their parents are teaching them the most about their finances okay so talk about family trips I guess that's also in the experience category yeah family trips you want to create an experience so let's say you're going to the ATM machine bring your kids with you and and teach them that this is not just a, a box that holds money where you push a button and money comes out you know it's like the old <laughs> they uh, think that's what we do yeah money Mom, doesn't go on I? tree lesson right mm -hmm. and then also you can do things like clipping coupons or you know doing that kind of stuff and then going to the store and, and teaching them that by using this coupon this is how much we actually save and if you want to take it a step further give them the money that they saved and that's teaching them by saving money I actually have more money and not everybody understands I've that. done that with toys mm. when they get money to go buy toys from family members sure you have this much to spend here's your extra and is that and practice saving that would be like allowance yeah practicing saving that's gonna be your allowances it's really you know you want to make sure that they're saving money so you want to set up different containers or buckets right. of money mm -hmm. so one for saving one for spending one for giving Right, uh -huh. and every time they get an allowance, you divide that up in there. Because really, what that's teaching them is the basic fundamentals of finance. You're setting up a mini uh, budget that a grown-up would have. Oh, right? you love that budget, yeah, right, don't that's you? Right, and then you're allocating those dollars from your your paycheck or your allowance into those different accounts. And the visual really helps kids kind of see it in practice. Right, absolutely. All right, well, kids can learn a lot. Talk about the spirit of giving and the mistakes that can happen. Yeah, so the spirit of giving is, you know, they're, they're writing their letters to Santa right now. Have them write a letter, uh, maybe a giving gift letter as well, so where they can use their money to buy a gift for somebody in need, right? Or you could do things like uh, volunteering at different charities or soup kitchens or things like that as a family. It really teaches them the power of giving over time. And then money mistakes, you're obviously, kids make mistakes with money. It's going to happen, right? <laughs> so um, but it's better to <laughs> yes. happen early than, than later on down the road. They're <laughs> so learning their lessons the adult, early. Yes. <laughs> you know, so. All right, thanks for sharing yeah, all of this. Absolutely. All right. Well,